Let's read some Glitch in the Matrix story. Hi, Andy. Hi. I love your channel and I've been following since the near beginning. It's the only TikTok channel I binge watch. Oh, thanks. Thank you for providing a safe space for those of us who know there's more to this world than we are led to believe. I've grown up from a child knowing about strange things like the paranormal, unusual creatures, and other dimensions, as my dad has always been interested in these sorts of things and was even involved in an esoteric psychic question journey in the 80s. He wrote a book about his real life experience called The Chronicles of Me. Meonia, pronounced Meonia. Oh, I did it. <laughs> but that has nothing to do with what I'm writing to you about today. Okay, but like, I'm interested in that too. I finally decided to tell you about one of the strange things that happened to me, probably the weirdest one, because I need to know if anyone else has experienced anything like that. This happened when I was around six years old, and it's something I've never forgotten. To set the scene, it was a bright, sunny summer morning in England, probably around 8 to 8.30 a.m., and as it was a Sunday and my parents didn't have to work, the whole family was having a lie-in. Everyone was still in bed, and the house was quiet and still. I woke up and needed to use the bathroom, so I got out of bed and walked out of my room to the bathroom, which was next door to my room. Once I'd finished in the bathroom, I went back into my bedroom, and although I was now wide awake, I was planning on getting back in bed to try to nap for a little bit while longer. As I entered through my bedroom door, I looked over to my left as that's where my bed was. The way my bed was situated as I entered the room, I was standing by the foot of my bed and when I looked over to my left, I was looking up at the bed from the foot to the headboard. As soon as I looked up to my bed where the pillow was, I stopped dead in my tracks. There, sitting cross-legged on my pillow, was a small being, probably around two feet tall, the only way I can really describe this being was that it looked like a real live garden gnome. I swear to God, that's the closest thing I can think of as how it looked. It had the same tall hat and a long white beard with a cheerful expression. I wasn't scared, just shocked. I stared at the gnome for what couldn't have been more than a few seconds. Then it smiled and waved at me before completely disappearing into thin air. I ran around my bed to see where the gnome had been sitting and I ripped my duvet, bed sheets and pillow completely off the bed, trying to rationalize and thinking it must have dived under the covers and was hiding in my bed, but there was nothing there. I sat on my bed, dumbfounded, and understandably, I didn't try to lie down and go back to sleep. I had no idea why this gnome had come to visit me, and to this day, I still don't, and I haven't seen it since. I didn't get any negative feelings from this being. In fact, it was quite the opposite, and I feel that they intended it to be a positive experience for me, and their energy was full of love and happiness. I don't tell many people the story because they don't believe me, and they tell me I must have been dreaming. I know 100% that I was not dreaming. I was awake, walking into my room in broad daylight. I would love to know who this gnome was and what their reason was for visiting me. Was their true form really this gnome looking figure or was it some sort of entity that just showed itself to me in a form that I would recognize and not be scared of? I would love to know your thoughts on this and find out whether anyone else has experienced something similar. That is so cool. I have never seen a gnome myself um, and I wasn't even sure like I said to myself, hey, is a gnome part of the fae? Because I know the fae are not really great creatures um, energy wise. So I looked it up and this is what we found. So apparently the meaning of seeing a gnome can vary depending on the context, but in general, they can symbolize a range of things, including good luck, protection, nature, fertility, and abundance, which are all good things. I also saw all these things in the search. Like, look, gnomes are often seen as symbols of luck, prosperity, and harmony with nature. Gnomes are benevolent and good-natured beings who love to help create a more beautiful environments, and they are peacemakers who are happy to work with us. So according to the internet, gnomes are actually good creatures. They're good, benevolent beings. They're not bad, malevolent beings. Um, they have good energy, and they're good for, like, luck and all these good things. I know there's a lot more people out here that know a lot more about gnomes than me, because clearly I know nothing. And who knows if the internet's actually correct. So my friends who know about gnomes, please let us know in the comments if what I'm reading is correct or if they have any other meanings. Also, let us know if you've seen a gnome yourself. To the author of this story, we believe you. Thank you so much for sharing this story. It was so super cool. I love that you got to see a gnome. I wish that I could see a gnome. I'm Anti-Matrix and I share people's weird, unexplainable stories about glitches in the Matrix, dreams, aliens, and the paranormal. And if you like stories like these, make sure you're following me. And if you have a story that you want to share, you can email it right here. We believe you.